So good morning, grade 10. We will proceed now with the continuation of the discussion for the Greek gods and goddesses. Last time, we ended with um, Aphrodite, Hermes or Ares. I think we went as far as the name of Ares. We ended it with the name of Ares as the god of war. And the name of Ares must not be misinterpreted as the name of Ares. Ares is the goddess of discord and strife, while Ares is the god of war. To also add, as a god of war, he is not actually seen to be all that brave or courageous. Several accounts in many Greek, mytholo Greek mythology stories have proven that Huh? Juliana here has said uh, Strife is the son of Ares. My reference to Ares is being the goddess of strife and discord. Just the concepts of discord and strife. Strife not being an identity, not being an entity. Just like the concept of uh, the being the goddess of whenever there are troubles, the goddess for troubles. Chaos, fights, that's who Eris is, Eris. So to go back, in the case of Ares, yes, though he is a god of war, several accounts have proven how much of a coward he is. We now go to Hephaestus, who in Roman mythology is also known as Vulcan or Mulciber. Hephaestus is actually a god a god of the forge, but is projected to be an ugly god of the forge. Funny thing is, despite that physical appearance of him, of his, he turned out being in a relationship with a goddess of love and beauty. Take note, goddess of love and beauty, who is Aphrodite. And last time we, we tried to rationalize for Aphrodite that perhaps for her, it's not all about the looks. That maybe there is something that she saw in, uh, I don't want to say it, but I think it sounds kind of weird though. Aphrodite must, uh, must have seen the hammer of Hephaestus. That's why she got sold out. I don't know, I just felt the need to say it. Uh, yeah, the, the hammer, a forge, a forger. So she must be, he must be bringing a big hammer. He hammers so well. And that Aphrodite got so sold out for it. How big He must have seen a very, she must have seen a big stick being held by Hephaestus. Okay, why not? How big I haven't checked it, Eli. Sorry, Eli, I haven't seen it. So that's Hephaestus for you. And then the last one in the list of the 12 Olympians is Hestia also known as Vesta, who had six virgin, virgin priestesses known as Vestals. Hestia is a sister of Zeus, who was, and then she is also named as the goddess of the hearth or the goddess of the home, goddess of the altars or the altars of the home. That, that's the attribute. What the, I want, she just wants to see it. The, and the, Wait, what's the biceps? <laughs> so the, that's Vesta. Or those are your 12 Olympians. But there are also in the list, in the list of important mythological characters, there are also a lot of names that we should also consider. For instance, you have the goddess of the youth as Hebe. The goddess of the rainbow, you have Iris. You also have the three sisters of fate. In the movie Hercules, in the cartoon show Hercules, the sisters of fate are the ones who, did, who tried to cut the thread of Hercules' life. But since in that movie, Hercules turned out to be a god from being a mortal, he, was, he evolved into being a god after having learned to sacrifice himself, the thread of his life wasn't cut. There are three sisters of fate. You have... Clotho, the spinner of the thread. You have Lachesis, the disposer of lots, who assigns man to his destiny. 
And you also have Atropos, the one who brings the shears, as he is the one who cuts the thread of life. So each of the three sisters has a role to play. You also have creatures that are quite known in the field of mythology, such as, such as centaurs. How do centaurs look like? They have the body of, oh no, sorry, the lower limbs, that of a horse, and the top half of their upper half of the body, that of a man. Are in fact, at some point, so many of them have the face of a man. Satyrs are different because the lower half of their body belongs to that of two goats. You also have other names such as Janus. Janus is seen to be the god of good beginnings. Janus has been projected to have two faces. One is facing forward while the other one is facing backwards. In some other accounts, one is facing the left side, the left side while the other face is looking at the right. Janus is actually the name from where the month of January has been coined. That's why you have the month of January. Because the month of January looks at December as the month that leaves the previous year. And January is the month that opens the new year. Thus, the name of Janus, Karami. Karamiya is the cheapest version of, sorry, I know if people find this and see this video, they'll totally, they'll probably bash me for this. And But I think you you feel the same way. You feel the same way. Karamiya is the cheapest version of Janus. You also have the names of Cerber Cerberus. How is Cerberus projected in mythology? He is a gigantic beast, a gigantic dog with Three heads, correct. And where is Cerberus placed? In the underworld. Cerberus is projected to be the dog of Hades meant to guard the underworld. You also have the names of, let's try to look at some other names. The wife of Hades. The name of whom is Persephone. Sometimes people would pronounce it as Persephone. Persephone or Persephone. In Roman or in Latin, she's also what did you say? She's also named Proserpine. You don't name it as Proserpine, it's Proserpine. But the problem there is what if that Proserpine name is expressed in possessive form? If Proserpina's name is in possessive form, yes, Juliana, that's how it will be pronounced. If the name is possessive. Then you have... You actually said it, no, sir. I did not. I tried not yes, to. Yes, you said. Yes, yes, you did when you said, when you say Persephone name. Persephone or Perse Persephone. No, you said it. Proserpine? You said it. The possessive Yeah, then you put the possessive S because you're going to Oh, oh see? <laughs> I just do. The possessive for Proserpine is name. Well, the name is Proserpine. In possessive form. That's in possessive form. Then you have uh, the son of Poseidon and Amphitrite, known as Triton. The name of Triton has also come out several times, especially when it comes to stories, mythological stories that deal with the waters or the seas and oceans. Triton, the name of Triton is even in SpongeBob. King Triton is projected there, bringing the trident of Poseidon. Because Triton, as the son of Amphitrite and Poseidon, is sometimes seen to be the carrier of the trident of his father. Sir, then do you know that in SpongeBob they say, uh, no, oh my Poseidon, oh my Neptune. Oh my Neptune, Neptune. They would yeah. In SpongeBob, they would not use the name of Poseidon, but they would reuse the Roman name of Neptune. So see, cartoon shows of today have also incorporated something like this. You also have the name of the god of love. If the goddess of love is Eros, uh, sorry, if the goddess of love is Aphrodite, goddess of love and beauty, her son, Eros, 
also known as Cupid in Latin, is the god of love. There's in fact one story, I, I hope you have also tried reading it from the PDF file. The story of Cupid and Psyche, that's a love story. A love story which was, which had a tragic touch to it. But still, we have the name of Eros for that. Eros being the god of love, in Latin we, we know him as Cupid. But of course, Eros is not projected, or Cupid in mythology is not projected as a baby wearing, a, a, wearing diapers. No. And bringing a bow and arrow. That's not how Eros is projected. That's how the modern world has projected this symbol or god of love to be a, a cherubim with very big cheeks and then with a pair of wings with a bow and arrow. Quite constant though to the persona of Eros would be the bow and arrow. In fact, in the story of the quest of the golden fleece, Eros was asked by, uh, by, I think it was by Hera, to help Jason with his plan to get the golden fleece. So a quick segue, what Eros did was to shoot his bow, his arrow, not his Why will you shoot your bow? That's sub one. Was to shoot his arrow to Medea, making Medea fall in love with Jason. It's just that Eros did not shoot his arrow at Jason. Therefore, the feeling wasn't mutual. It was only Medea who fell in love with Jason. Truth, uh, honestly speaking, Jason did not reciprocate that feeling of love that Medea felt. Unreciprocated love. Because that's how the arrow of love of Eros works. They don't, it doesn't mean that when one is shot by the arrow the other person would right away feel the same for the one who was shot. Let's now go to your FTs. Let's go to your FTs now. We begin with FT1 where you have to complete the table. FT1 and 2 is a matter of completing a table. For FT1, a description has been provided or a name or of a Greek god or goddess or of that of their Roman names. And then you have to complete the rest of the grid. We start with the first row. The God of Wealth. What is the name of the God of Wealth? Anybody? I'd like to call, I'll just call one of you. Nice. Who is known in Greek mythology or in Greek names? Who is the God of Wealth? Hades. Hades, correct. His Roman name is what? Lorraine. Pluto. Pluto, correct. By the way, please do the honors of checking, checking your own papers. We understand that you are so honest in checking your works. You'll really be honest that at this point you already have answers in your paper and that you will not just type in the answer, put in the answer as we are. Oh, I like this. Can you, can you try showing to me your papers, everyone? Oh, so that for video recording, you have shown to the world that you have really answered the activities there. That's really nice. I hope I'm not just seeing. You can scribbles. still change the answer, though. It's it's all right though that you can change your answers along the way. It's all right. You wrote plurals. What is that? Plural. Miguel just wrote plurals. Plural. Pluto. Then let's go with a sacred animal or a sacred city or a sacred place, if there's any, for Hades. What are the sacred animals to Hades? You have? Screech owl. A screech owl, correct. A screech owl is an owl that has a different color. It has a grayish with shades of black color. You can also How do you spell that? Screech like S C R. I'll just type it in. Okay. There. Hades also has other animals like the serpent or a black 
ram. A black ram. Cancerous be part, sir. Again, again, sorry. Cancerous be part. Uh, by the way, in terms of the animals that we're referring, this is also to answer the question of Vince. In terms of the animals we're referring to here, the sacred animals that we want to see as answers are the ones that are really in the human world. Cerberus is not an, a normal animal. I mean, he's, an, he's a supernatural animal. So for now, we will not consider uh, Cerberus. In terms of a sacred, that's the reason why for the last column of FP1, it's a matter of and or or. Because sometimes there may be Greek gods or goddesses who have not been attributed with a sacred city or a sacred place. Take, for instance, in the case of Hades, in his case, the underworld has his domain, so no other city or sacred place has been attributed to him. So for now, we can add it to the sacred animal. Let's go with the next row where we have the name of Hera. Hera's Roman name is? What is the Roman name of Hera, Ishi? Juno. Juno, correct. <clears throat> then, she is known as, what are her descriptions? She is known to be Vince. The goddess of marriage. The and goddess love. of marriage. She is also seen as the protector of women, married women, or of women. Then, her sacred city is Argos. <coughs> Sorry. Fortunately, the book of Edith Hamilton has presented explicitly the city which is sacred to her, and that's Argos. In terms of her sacred animals as well, she also has the cow and the peacock. Just give that all of those answers one point. If you place there Argos, cow, and peacock, just give all of those three a total of one point. There so is one it point. all. Yes, honey. The Wait, Argus. It sounded weird. Yes, honey, Claire. <laughs> the Argus, sir. Is it O? Argus with an O, yes. Okay, thank you. If, for instance, on that grid you simply wrote cow, you'll already get one point there. If you wrote pika, that's just still one point. If you wrote Argus and not any of the animals, that's fine. That still earns you. That's that. Yeah, that still earns you one point. If you wrote the three things. That would be great, but still, that will that will just be worth one point. One point in each uh, grid for a column. In each cell, one point for every cell. Let's go now to the next row for that row with the Roman name Neptune, which means that the Greek name is what? Alex, what is the Greek name of Neptune? Neptune. Greek name. What's the Greek name? Oh, Poseidon. Poseidon, correct. And Poseidon is known as who? As what? Neil. I don't have an answer, sir. But from the discussions, perhaps, what can this? What can you think of a description for Poseidon? God of the sea. God of the sea, correct. Oh. He is the god of the sea. The sea and the oceans. These are the domain given for. Poseidon to rule. Other from other from, other than that, you can also look at Poseidon as used by Hamilton as the Earth Shaker. Then sacred, ruler of the seas, sir. Ruler of the seas, correct. Then we have the sacred city or sacred animal. In terms of a sacred of a sacred animal, the bulls, horses, they are sacred to Poseidon. However. The bull is also considered sacred by, by the other gods and goddesses. There's also a sacred place for Poseidon, and that's Corinth. Corinth? Corinth. I'll type it, I'll type it in. This is the sacred city for Poseidon. Then we go to the last row for... That row with the Roman name Jupiter. So what is the sacred animal of Poseidon, sir? Again, again. Sacred animal of Poseidon. Bulls and horses. 
but the bulls may also become as a sacred fish, animal yes, to other gods and goddesses. The fishes, sir. Again, again, sorry. The fishes and other marine creatures. And other? Marine creatures, sir. Well, for the reason that they are in the seas, I think I'll consider that. <laughs> and then for the sacred city to Poseidon, you have Corinth. The spelling was, oh yeah, I've already uh, typed it in. Then we go to that god whose Roman name is Jupiter. So in Greek, he is known as whom? Miguel. What is the Greek name of the Roman god Jupiter? Zeus, sir. Zeus. Correct. Zeus. And then he is being referred to as, the description for Zeus is? God of thunder. Uh, the god of? Thunder. God of thunder. God of the sky. So these are the descriptions that experts have given for Zeus. The lord of the skies, the rain god, cloud gatherer. So you may use those descriptions provided by Edith Hamilton. And then, what places are sacred to or what animals are sacred to him? To him, you have the owl. You, not the owl, sorry, not the owl. The eagle, the eagle, eagle, sorry. The eagle. What places? There are two places, though, that are sacred to Zeus. These places are Olympia and Elis. I'll type the names. This is the first name, Elis. The other one is Olympia. These are the places that are sacred to Zeus. Sir. Yeah? For the description of Zeus, is it okay, king and father of our God? Again, sorry, sir, louder, please. For the description of Zeus, is it okay, king and father of all gods? King and father of all gods? Yeah. That may the con the word all might prove itself as a challenge, but the word king of all gods may do. The term king of all gods may do. The word father there may be interpreted as being the head or being the leader, but it also denotes a biographic biographical element where someone turns out to be a biographical father of someone else but uh, wrong? highlight instead king of all gods and that okay. will be considered okay then we so how many points do we have in total for ft1 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 12 points 1 2 3 4 5 seven, 12 points let's now go to ft2 in FT2, people, can you, is there, I don't know what happened here. Is there a row in FT2 which really has nothing? Yes, sir. An empty row? Yes. I know, I don't know what happened. It's the printer. I blame the printer. The printer just added an empty row. So let's ignore that part. We begin with the first row of FT2 where we have the name of Minerva. The Greek name of Minerva is what? Minya. <coughs> Athena. Athe complete name. Complete name. What's, What's the complete name? It's not just Athena, but the complete name is. Uh, there's a one. There's one more word before the name Athena. What is that word, CJ? CJ, yes, yes. Pro, I, I forgot, sir, but it started with P. It starts with a P, yes, but not pro. <laughs> Jaika, what's the word before the name of Athena? Pallas Athena, sir. Correct, it's Pallas. So the complete name is Pallas Athena. For now, if you answered simply Athena, I'll consider it. But for the F, but for the STs, if it's to be asked from you, if in the QE, if that comes out, it should be the complete name, which is Pallas Athena. Yes, Marco has given the correct spelling. 
And then the description for Athena is that she is, how would you describe Athena? Bye. Uh, Vince, go. Goddess of wisdom. She's the goddess of wisdom, correct. What else? Goddess of the city. Goddess of the city. As the word city there refers to her favored. Yeah, you can also look at it now for your answer. As the, as the word city in the title, goddess of the city, actually represents. Is that, that's what I think from Ishi. The word city there represents her favored city, which is Athens. So that's the city that is sacred to her. That's Athens. In some accounts, Athena is actually being referred to as the goddess of war. She's also being referred to as the goddess of war while her while the god of war is Ares. We continue. What is the sacred animal to Athena? It's the owl. And the tree that's sacred to her is the olive. We go with the second row. In the second row, we find there a sacred, a, a tree which is sacred to one goddess. The tree that's indicated there is Cyprus. That tree is sacred to which Greek goddess? I'll call Errol. Errol, the Cyprus is sacred to which Greek goddess? Artemis. Artemis, correct. Artemis in Roman mythology is known as, I'll call Dane. What is the name of Artemis in Roman mythology? Diana, sir. Diana, correct. Description for Artemis or Diana, she is known as the lady of wild things, the goddess of hunt, huntsman-in-chief. So you have these titles for her. What animal is secret to Diana? We have the deer. For a while. And then, what places are considered sacred to Diana or to Artemis? We have the following. The forests are considered sacred to Diana. You also have Ephesus, Brauron, Delos, and Sparta. These cities are sacred, considered sacred to Artemis. I'll type them in, type them here. These are the places that are considered sacred to Artemis. Next, you have we have the God whose sacred animals are the dolphin and the crow. So who is this God? We have the name of whom? I'll call Chelsea. Who is that God whose sacred animals are the dolphin and the crow? Phoebus Apollo, sir. You have Phoebus Apollo, correct. Who in Roman mythology is just also known as? Even in Roman mythology, he is. Sir, how do you spell Phoebus? Okay. I'm typing it in. For the question of Neil, just like how we are going to treat for now the name of Athena, Apollo will be considered. But by the time an SP, your ST would ask for it or the QA would ask for it, you should provide the complete name. In Roman mythology, sometimes Apollo is just being referred to as Apollo. In some accounts, he gets, he gets to be misinterpreted as Helios, who is the sun god. But that's a misconstrued impression of Apollo. Helios actually supposedly stands as a separate god. So let's go to his description. For the descriptions of Apollo, he may be referred to as the Greek of all the gods, the most Greek of all the gods. He is being referred to sometimes as... Where's my camera? He's being referred to sometimes as the archer god. 
the healer, the God of light, the God of truth. These are descriptions given to Apollo. Sir, can we can you consider concert, um, God of music and medicine? The God of music, but the God of medicine. As I, uh, I think we'll consider the God of medicine because he is considered the God of healing. Same. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Then, the tree that's sacred to him is the laurel. Places that are sacred. Oh, okay, we have the sun god. Yes. The, because of that attribution of being referred as the sun god, people misinterpret him to be Helios. But Helios is a separate, separate character. God of the sun may be considered as a title for Apollo. God of music, yes. And then, the places that are sacred to Apollo are Delphi and Sparta. They've been given out earlier. Oh no, that's Delos. Here's the spelling for Delphi. Others pronounce it as Delphi. I'll just pronounce it as Delphi. And Sparta. Ephesus, sir. Again? Ephesus. Have you found that in another source as well? It's in the book. It's in the book? It's a river. Who knows? We are Cephisus, Delphi, and Tower, uh, under Tower in Parnassus. That's the river where the oracle, where the oracle is found near that river, Cephisus. We will now go to the next row where a description is provided. You have the description goddess of love and beauty this description applies to which greek goddess honey claire who is the greek goddess described as the goddess of love and beauty claire wait honey is not responding what about marco the description, goddess of love and beauty, is given to whom? Give me the Greek name, Marco. I know, Mike. Okay. What about angel? Yeah, it's all right, Marco. It's all right. The description for goddess of love and beauty is given to which Greek goddess? Aphrodite. Aphrodite, whose Roman name is what? Angel. Venus. Venus, correct. And then... The sacred animals to her are the dove, the sparrow, and the swan. The sacred tree is the myrtle. The sacred places are these. I'll type in the sacred places for these three places are sacred to Aphrodite. Sir, can the dolphin be a sacred animal to her? Dolphin? Mm -hmm. But the dolphin is supposed to be for Apollo. We'll check. We'll double check. Also, no. Yeah. Okay. The sacred animals that have been indicated, highly indicated as sacred to Aphrodite are birds. How about the apple tree? The sir? dove, the sparrow, and the swan. Apple tree, sir. The sacred tree is the myrtle. There, provided by Juliana. Sir. Apple tree is not correct, sir. Huh? Apple tree. Apple tree? Yeah. Mooning, mooning myrtle. I found it in other sources, but, sir. That the apple tree works? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sir. We'll consider it. Yes, Chelsea. How about the pathos for city, sir? Again, again, sorry. Pathos city. Can it be? Pathos, actually, thank you for reminding me, Chelsea. Pathos actually is a city that she also favors. In fact, that will be soon. Uh, that will be soon mentioned by the time we go with the story of Pygmalion and Galatea. So it can be considered, sir. Yeah, Pathos works. I hope everybody knows the spelling of Pathos. 
this is the spelling for Paphos. Next, we will go with the god of war. The god of war in Greek mythology is known as Ares, A-R-E-S. In Roman mythology, he is known as Mars. And then, the animal that's sacred to him is the vulture. However, for the sacred tree, a no, nothing was actually mentioned though. Unless there's someone who has found, a, uh, by, by their personal research, a tree that is sacred to Ares. So does it, can serpent be a sacred animal of of a of secret okay. animal for Aris. A, uh, Aris. Wait, we'll see. Serpent. Uh, I'm not sure if the serpent works though. Has your research given you that answer, Vince? Yes, sir. Okay. Neil, in the words of Edith Hamilton, Neil, the dog because was wronged by chosen by being chosen as his animal. So the dog might not actually be the animal that's sacred to Ares. The boar works. The boar may do. The sacred place or the place considered sacred to Ares is Thrace. So what if I answered dog and boar? Uh, like what happened? Like for the case of Viona earlier, just underline the boar. Thrace. Mm -hmm. There. That is seen to be considered, especially uh, considered as the place sacred to Ares, especially that it's a place for rude, fierce, yeah, rude and fierce people, the, uh, belligerent, warlike people. Sparta also works. Sparta also works. So we're going to skip that empty row. We proceed with the goddess of the hearth, who in Greek mythology is known as. Hestia, in Roman mythology, she is known as Vesta. Sir, um, will we still check the sacred tree of Ares? Again, again, sorry. Will we, will we still check the sacred tree of Ares? The sacred tree. Just skip the sacred tree. Uh, so, don't check na lang. Yeah, skip it, man. So, just... Yeah. For Hestia, the sacred animal to her is the swine or a pig. Then no tree has been known to be sacred to her as well as a specific sacred place. However, in the home, the domestic Altars of every Greek home are seen to be sacred to Hestia. Domestic altars of the homes. Greek Sir, homes. What are the animals? The swine or the pig. Sir, Others are giving me this answer of a donkey or donkey, deer wolves. Donkey. Yes. Yeah, they'll be counted. Sir, sir, I found them. I found a source nga about the uh, secretary of Hestia. It's okay, just. Again? It's just an answer. The secretary. A chase tree. Yeah, chase. Not chase, it's a chase tree. Chase. Um, but that's, uh, yeah, I actually found that one as well. I actually found that one as well. But not so many accounts have credited this chase tree for her. That is why it has not really been strongly established that there is such a tree that is sacred to Hestia. But for those who wrote chase tree, that will also be considered. But for the purpose of checking now so that everybody arrives at the same number of points, we will leave it as an unknown tree. We will leave it as unknown because no tree has been strongly attributed to her as a sacred tree. As for the place that's sacred to Hestia, we have again the domestic altars of every Greek home. 
Thank you, sir. Then for the last one, Mol Sibur, you have that as a Roman name, and the Greek name is Hephaestus, who is also known as the god of fire or the god of the forge, god of agriculture that also works with him. The animals that are sacred to him are, yeah, Vulcan, sorry, Vulcan is also another Roman name, but the, Vulcan is a Roman name. You're after the Greek name. The, the animals that are sacred to Hephaestus are the donkey or the ass, as well as the crane. You also have a bird, which is a crane, considered sacred by Hephaestus. Then the tree, as for a sacred tree, nothing has been strongly identified as well as a tree that's sacred to him. But for a place, we have Lemnos as a sacred place to Hephaestus. The spelling for Lemnos is this one. So the tree is unknown, sir. Yeah, we will leave the tree unknown for now. Sir, I searched for the tree and only appeared okay, fennel. Fennel tree? A fennel, it's not a tree. Yeah. We had the same it's a plant, it's a plant though. Lotus. Especially that since it's talking about a tree, the fennel doesn't count. What's the deal with, with Lemnos? Lemnos is the place um, when when Hephaestus was born, as his physical features turned out to be frustrating to her to to Hera. Hephaestus was rather thrown to Lemnos, like thrown to Lemnos. Hera threw him there because Hera did not like how Hephaestus looked like. And that's the reason why the people of Hep, what's the spelling of Hep? What's Hep? Hephaestus? That's the reason why that place turned out to be sacred to um, Hephaestus. Do not also be surprised if later on you'll find the name being mentioned, the name of the place Lemnos being mentioned as a place of women, only for women. In fact, they killed all of the men in that, la in that island. The women in Lemnos are not Amazons. They just rose up and killed and drove, killed if not drove away all the men in that island. So the, occupant, the occupants of the Lemnos Island are just women. We now go, how many points do we have in FT2? One, two, three, four, five, wait. One, so, two, three, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Excluding the areas which are unknown for Eris, Hestia, and Hephaestus. FT2 supposedly totals to 31 points. Feminist Sir, in another level. Sir, Fena cannot be concerned check. Again, again. As Fena cannot be checked as a secretary of... Because Fennel is not a tree, Vince. Uh, Sir, what's the sacred animal for Artemis? Can it, sir? Sacred animal for Artemis? You have the deer. All wild animals, by the way, can also be considered. If someone wrote all wild animals, we can accept that. Sir, how about, uh, no, sir, sacred city for Ares. Sacred city for? Ares. Ares, you have Thrace. What Sparta, sir? Thrace and Sparta. Here's the spelling for Thrace a lie. Okay. Especially Thrace, as this is a place, the place for rude and fierce people and warlike people. Thank you, sir. Yeah. We go with FT3 now. She is the who is the goddess of the youth? It's Hebe. Hebe, correct. The goddess of the rainbow is Iris. The god of love. 
You have Eros. If you wrote the name of Cupid, that's fine because FT3 has not been specific for a Roman or Greek name. So number three may be Cupid or Eros. Eros is the Greek, sir, or Roman? Eros is Greek, then Cupid is Latin or Roman. Eros is Greek. Yeah, Eros is Greek. Okay, thank you. Sir, what is the spelling of Iris, sir? Iris, I are like the one for the I, I R I S. So, uh, okay. Then number four, the wife of Poseidon is Amphitrite. Amphitrite. To so those who don't know the spelling, that's Amphitrite. Then the muse of memory is Nemosine. Sir, isn't Nemosine also a titan? She's also a titan, yeah. And a muse at the same time. So that's the spelling of Nemosine. The titan of the earth is Gaia. Gaia. It's Gaia. Spell Gaia for us. Um, Theia. How do we spell Gaia? G-A-I-A. -A. Correct. There are only four letters there. G-A-I-A. -A. Sir, how about E? G-A-E-A. -A. -E -A. Is it spelled with an E? G-A-E-A -A is Roman. Yeah, sir. Some. Oh, yeah. If it's a Roman spelling, then we'll accept it as well. Anyway, again, FT3 is not particular with the Greek or Roman orientation. She has been identified as the wife of Pluto. Uh, this one is different now because number four, number, sorry, number seven is asking for the wife of Pluto. So you should give out the Roman name and not the Greek name. So it's not the name of Persephone that should appear there, but the name is Pro Serpini. If the question were only who is the wife of Hades, so Greek should be our arrangement. Your answer should also be Persephone. But since it's na the name being referred to there is uh, if I write, if I wrote both, sir, please underline the one for the which is a Roma name. She is one of the fates whose task is to cut the thread of life. You have the name of Atropos. Who spins the thread of life? You have Clotho. Why would you write Proserpina? <laughs> then the last question is, he is the one who ferries souls in the underworld. Charon? Charon. Charon? Charon. C-H-A-R-O-N. <laughs> Charon! FT3 totals the 10 points. Let's do FT4. Who are the three powerful sibling gods in Greek mythology? Mytholo take note, the name, name should be Greek. Greek mythology. What are considered to be their territories? So your answers there should be Zeus, Sky, Poseidon, Seas or Ocean, Hades, Underworld. How many points, sir? Six How points. many points, sir? Six. Three for the names. And three for the Charon Conetta. Very funny, Vince. Ha, 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 ha. Three for the names and three for the areas considered as their territories. But take note, they should match. If someone wrote Hades and then paired it with the oceans and seas, you'll just get one point for Hades, but not a point for the territory. Let's now do question number two. Why is it said that some mortals feared or did not favor the human appearances of Zeus? What are your possible answers here? Give me one. Rain. 
Why is it that some mortals feared or that they did not favor the human appearances of Zeus? Because they will receive punishment from Hera. Correct. Because they fear the punishments. It's not perhaps much of the fear towards the, phys the appearance, physical appearance of Zeus, but for fear of what consequence may come if Zeus has decided to be in a relation, and you know what the word relationship means, to be in a relationship with them. Let's just be euphemistic about it. The moment Zeus ends with a relationship, develops a relationship with a mortal, heavier, <laughs> the gesture of angel, heavier consequences, dire consequences will really come. Coming from Hera. Yes, Juliana, you have something to share? What about um, it brings bad luck? Again, again, sorry, sorry, louder, please. It brings bad luck. Bad luck, yes. It really is bad luck. The, uh, the apparitions of Zeus would mean bad luck for whosoever he decides to be in a relationship with. Let's give that three points. Let's go with number three. Others say that Hades is just. Why is that so? Prove to me that Hades is a just God. I'll call in Leja. He is just mis on uh, he, uh, other people just misunderstand because his title is God of the Underworld. Yeah, you can look at it that way. Um, how many points are number two, three points? He is a just God. He's not evil. That is just a misinterpretation of him for the for the sheer reason that he is the ruler of the underworld. But actually, he is a, a just God. Anybody else who would like to share? Perhaps, uh, what about that, that well, when, when someone dies, he doesn't make any bargain. When you die, you die. I mean, when the soul goes to the underworld, Hades just simply goes with the idea that you're already dead and that you can't anywhere make your way back to the human world. However, in what, yes, a lie. His judgment cannot be clouded. His judgment cannot be clouded, correct. Allow me though to also inform you ahead of time that there was there is an account in mythology where someone has has managed to make his way out of death. And that's in the my no not um uh, wait wait. Uh, this will be quick. Okay. It was in the case of Orpheus. In the love of Orpheus and Eurydice, because Eurydice died, Orpheus is a musician, and then he became so sullen, he felt as though his world has ended, and that the gods and goddesses of Olympus missed his music. So he want, they wanted to help him. They found out that the reason for his sadness was that his lover in the name of Eurydice has already been placed in in the under underworld so the gods made some arrangements with Hades and that Eurydice was brought back to life on the condition that in the at the mo that um Orpheus will have to fetch her from under from the underworld and at that moment that they should make them their way out of the underworld he should not look back at Eurydice so the moment they were already step making their way up outside, uh, going outside, leaving underworld, he felt uneasy for fear that he just might have just he just might have been deceived. So what he did was to look back to make sure, just to make sure that Eurydice was really following him. However, because he did not follow what the gods have told him the portals of the underworld closed the doors of the underworld closed and Eurydice wasn't able to make her way out of the underworld she did not manage to to be uh, yeah she wasn't brought back to life again at the moment that the doors of the underworld closed he heard Eurydice say 
farewell. The word farewell was an indicator was yeah was an indicator that they would still see each other again and that's by the time that Orpheus would die. So they still saw each other in death. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Next question. Prove that Athena has been favored so much by Zeus. A clear proof to this is that Athena is the only one among the gods and goddesses who's, who brings the breastplate or, or the ages of, of Zeus. Number five, there is something that is ironic with Hera and the title given to her. What is the irony there? Still three points, Juliana, three points. What is the irony with the title given to Hera? Let's remind ourselves of her title. She is the protector of marriage. The irony is her relationship is not founded on fidelity or loyalty. Because it's so unfortunate for her to be to be paired with a god who is so infidel and would reach a point of, of fornicating with mortals. So that's the irony. So the idea is there. For a total of best FT4 totals to 18 points. So your ST for these things will be on Saturday morning, same schedule at 9.45 to 10.45. Through Edmodo, you'll take the ST through Sir, Edmodo. type of test. Yes, yes. Type of test. Type of test, type easy of type. Test. Type of test, easy type. <laughs> so helpful. <laughs> For sure. Have, like, essays on Edmodo? And yeah, through Edmodo, you'll, you'll just click, choose an answer, type in answers. I see questions are also there. How many items? Oh no, let's not look at how many. How few are the items? Sir, are we gonna have a Zoom call while we do? No, our not necessarily. You don't have to go for a Zoom call. Anyway, the time limit is already there. Oh, so you will not watch us? Yeah, I will not. Because I believe that you're all honest <laughs> and good people. I know that you're really honest people. Hoy, just so you'll know, cheating is a one-way ticket to hell. One-way ticket. It's not a, it, cheating doesn't give you a round-trip ticket. Cheating is a one-way ticket to hell, to hell. And mind you, it's not a very nice place. It's not oh, that you've I've been, been there. there. <laughs> <laughs> there it's sir. not a really nice place. Yes, Angel. Will we have Dante this year? I want to. I really want to. I don't know if you heard me. I don't know if you've heard my discussion last year for the Divine Comedy. Yeah, I did. We did. That's we did. one of the many lessons in grade 10 English that I become so invested. I always get so invested for every time that I teach the Divine Comedy. Don't worry. I think we can insert the Divine Comedy in our discussions this year. Yeah. I'll do my best that we could have the Divine Comedy. If no other matters will be brought up this time, I think that would be all. Goodbye and thank you, Great Dad. Sir, sir. Oh, yes, Chelsea. How many points? Three and four. Three. Number one is worth I... six points. Two to five would be, are, are worth three points. That's why it has FT4 totals to 18 points. Thank you, sir. Yeah. If there are no more questions, that would be all. Goodbye and thank you, Great Dad. Bye. 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 Thank you. Thank you, sir. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.